Hey guys, this is Richard. This is a short and quick review of a budget tablet that I came across online. It's the i5 Mini 4S and it costs 160 Singapore dollars. The price range is roughly the same for other China tablets, but let's see what features does this tablet have. Design-wise, it has metal frame all around. The back has two strips of glass at the top and bottom with a smooth matte plastic finish in the middle. The bezels in front are pretty thin on the sides. The top and bottom bezels are thick enough for the fingers when holding in landscape mode. This comes with laminated display, something not commonly seen for budget tablets. There won't be a gap in between the glass and display panel. The buttons are also made of metal, but it doesn't feel very tactile, but there's a subtle click sound. One thing is that the buttons will rattle when shaking the device. Other than that, it's pretty well made with no flexing, but the glass portion will get fingerprint smudges. One of the selling points is that it has a 7.85 inch 2048 by 1536 resolution display. It's also something you don't get with at this price point. Colors are vibrant and the display is sharp. It's really a nice screen to look at. My set has a fault with the display and I could see some screen coloring when tapping certain part of the display. It only happens if I tap it a little harder. It comes with 32GB storage and 2GB of RAM. It also has a micro SD card slot for support up to 32GB for the extra storage. Good news is that it can be formatted as part of the internal storage. The side facing speakers is at the bottom, but it doesn't sound too great. The speakers work fine for normal YouTube usage and such. There is a headphone jack beside the USB port, and it sounds much better than the speakers. The speaker do emit static sound when plugging in the earphones. Other hardware specs are 8 megapixel back camera, 2 megapixel front camera, Wi Fi 802.11, A, B, G, and A, C. Bluetooth 4.2, a built-in 4800mAh battery, gyroscope, and compass. It's powered by a Rockchip RK3288 CPU and Mali T760 GPU. There were some occasional lags on the UI and also when launching apps. Nothing too severe, overall, it's generally smooth and pleasant. The 2GB of RAM on board should be more than enough for multitasking. Gaming was surprisingly quite good when I tested with Modern Combat and Dead Effect 2. It's quite smooth with little stuttering. FPS however, will not be as high as other high-end devices. This device should handle most games with moderate settings, but might struggle with future demanding games. The tablet is running Android 7.0. It seems like stock or close to stock Android as there are no visible bloatwares or additional settings on it. It's missing customized features like what you will find on other brands, but it provides a no frills experience. Stock Android lovers will definitely like this. Battery is pretty small for a tablet at 4800 mAh. The battery life wasn't too good, having around 2-3 to three hours of screen on time with 75% brightness. My normal usage is like watching YouTube and surfing the web. It will drain more battery quickly for more demanding usage. I needed to charge a tablet every day for my type of usage. It took around 2-3 to three hours to charge from 0% to 100%. The camera is not too great, but the front camera is okay for video calling.
at $160 Singapore dollars. It's really a good price for such a tablet. With a laminated display and 2K resolution, I think the display is enough to be worth the price. But considering the display fault isn't too severe unless I press on it too hard, personally, I feel I can overlook this. Apart from the rattling buttons and static speaker, the build quality is good and feels solid. This tablet is great for casual gaming, watching videos and surfing the web. I recommend getting the i5 mini 4S if you are looking for a media consumption device at a cheap price. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you do have any questions, please leave a comment below. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more of such videos. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one.